way to a terrific result for your team tonight. Yeah, uh, and I deserved. Thought we were really good. And the man again pops up with it. Alfie May, you just can't keep the man down at the moment, can you? No, he's he, that's what he does. He sniffs out chances. He scores goals. But I thought is thought him and Dan, the pair of them up top. I thought their work rate and their effort for the team was was equally as valuable. And then talk from from your point of view that moment in the first half where Dan hits the ball and then there's two cleared off the line. The sort of thing that probably makes you think, oh, perhaps it's not going to be our night. No, I thought I, I thought some of our football in the first half, especially, was really good. So we've. Um, We've been solid and we've defensively we've been really sound and that's given us a really good base to go and grow our football from and some of our play and some of the chances we've created first half were were excellent and I think we were rightly rewarded with Alfie's goal because I think any other result probably wouldn't have reflected the, the balance of the game. But once again you've had to dig in and defend really well, we, we've spoken about it before, I mean that's eight clean sheets now which is... As many as had last season. Yeah, as many as we had last season, and that's, you know, obviously the uh, the defenders will get the credit, but it's a collective effort. So one to one to eighteen, but you do you do expect to come away to Charlton. I don't know what the crowd was, but the the stature and the size of the club, you expect that you're going to come under a bit of pressure at times and and have to dig in. And like I think I heard Cirque say, we've had to show different aspects of the game so some of our football is really good some of our creative play but when we've had to defend we've defended really well and the most the really pleasing bit was even in even when we went one nil up we haven't dropped off we haven't been passive long he's stepping in and and hunting people down so you know we never came away from like you say when we didn't score early on and when we did score we didn't come away from what we do and what we believe in and another game in which Luke Southwood hasn't really had many saves to make. No, but he's sort of when he has been called upon, he's been he's been diligent and he's been he's been good, which is you know, difficult skill for a goalkeeper. Sort of watch large chunks of the game, but make sure you're ready when you are needed. So no, he was good again. How difficult a decision was it to bring Lewis Freestone back in because Charlie Rogan's done really well in recent games. Yeah, Rags has been. Uh, Lewis gives us a balance on the left, but I think the four of them, Rags, Lewis, Longy, and and Caleb, have, whoever's played in the last, whoever's played has been excellent. So uh, you, there's one or two more that you could chuck in the mix as well. It wasn't, it wasn't an easy team to pick, which is, which is what you want. Because you could almost perm three of the four, probably, couldn't you? And, and you could play any three in, in any combination, which is a good a good thing to have. Yeah, which is great, isn't it? Which is what you, which is what you want. Um, and we've, we've, you know, we've, I think we've got decent options uh, across the pitch now. Because Ryan Jackson's another one who, who's done really well in the opening part of the season, and now he finds himself, he finds himself out of the team as well. Yeah, Jack has been excellent. I've said that to the players. Said that to the players that did say to him yesterday, have a look at, you know, I think we've, um, I don't know what our, I don't know what our form is or, I don't know, you'll tell me, John, you, you, you know, we know better than these. It's good. Our form's, listen, our form's, <laughs> our form's decent. Um, I don't know what the, I don't look at the, I've seen the results, I haven't looked at the table, but our form's decent and we've, we've had to work hard to get ourselves into that, into that vein. I just said to the lads, if you need any motivation to step on it and stay on it, have a look around because it's not been an easy team to pick. And if you're fortunate enough to have a shirt at the minute, maintain your level because there's um, there's people chomping at the bit. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's 11 points out of the last 15. That's so right, you're 14th in the table with 25 points, so you're halfway to 50. Just looking at Forest Green. Looking at that. That's, a, that's another big game and uh, looking to keep the momentum going, obviously. Yeah, but I said to you before, we only ever look at, you know, don't get too far ahead of ourselves. I told the lads, enjoy the weekend. You know, they've earned it. Enjoy the, enjoy the feeling in the dressing room. Enjoy the moment. Um, be back in Monday morning, ready to work and work towards Forest Green. Must be a good place to be at the moment, that dressing room. To be fair, it's been 
dressing room's been a good place to be all season. It's um, I've said to you loads of times. It's a it's a good club. It's a good place to work. It's good people. Um, we're not, you know, we're not a Charlton Athletic. We know that. So we have to. We have to. Our strength is is the collective. We have to have a good spirit. We have to have a good dressing room and good people. And we get that right. That's how we go and compete with clubs of the size of this. Do you feel you're getting your just rewards now in recent games for the performances? Because you probably haven't had that all season. There probably been times when you, when you haven't had that. But in recent games, do you feel you're now getting your just rewards for performances that the team, team's putting in? Yeah, I think that would be fair. I think there were there were times earlier in the season when we played well and didn't get the probably didn't get the points that reflect it. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, said to you before a few times. I think we're growing as a I think we're growing as a team. And I think tonight, evenings like tonight, where you come to come to places like this and perform in the manner that we did, will will help that. Wait. Cheers, Thank mate. You. Mate, that, that 11 points for 15 has been since the Burton game, which was probably a, a low moment. How pleased have you been with the response? I know you've had the FA Cup within that, but the league form's been consistently good since then, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we talked, to, talked a lot about Burton. Um, but I think what I said to you after the time was, at times we'll get, get it wrong. Hold our hands up, go away, reflect, learn, and, and try and get better. So... I know it's boring, but that's what we'll do today. We'll go away, break the game down, see where we can get better from it. Will you allow yourself to look up the table? Four points off the playoffs? With a game in hand. On some teams, not Portsmouth. We'll look at Forest Green, mate. We'll look at Forest Green and we'll go to... But... I guess it depends if you... I said to you last week, if you glass half empty, glass half full. But we'll just... We'll rock on... Get in, work hard next week, go to Forest Green and we'll we'll try and win that game. How does winning here as Charlton Manager compared to winning here as Bristol City? You didn't know I went Bristol City. Game. I had to tell you that. <laughs> we discussed that in the summer, I'm pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, win's a win, so... Uh, both good moments, to be fair. Uh, yeah, came in one with Bristol City. Um, that was a big win at the time because it lifted us out of the out of the relegation zone that season and we never went back in. Um, but yeah, I'll enjoy tonight's one as well. I think you were here last Saturday, weren't you? Yeah. In in person, how you saw yeah, was yeah. that, and how pleased are you with the, the game plan you were able to set I'm up? I'm pleased. I'm pleased because there was a rail strike, and it was it wasn't the easiest game to get to and get home from. So it was a long day, but when the lads go out and perform in the manner that they did, it makes it worth it. So uh, nah, it's useful. It's useful seeing them. They haven't they haven't played a three very often. I think the only game I've seen them play a three is Ipswich. So we did we didn't expect them to play a three, but you know, we were we were half prepared just in case they did. So I don't know whether that's I don't know what the thinking behind them changing was, but credit to credit to our lads because we worked on a four. Um but we're at that stage in the season now where we played against a three enough, we know how to flip and I think you know you start getting your rewards for the work that you've done. Are you gonna have tomorrow off, or are you gonna be at another? No, game? the lads are off. The lads, no, I'm at Matilda tomorrow. I'm at Matilda tomorrow afternoon. How, how nice, it doesn't that often, is it? Friday night games. No. So how nice is it to be able to get the job done on the Friday and enjoy Matilda on Saturday? No, it's nice. I mean, you don't get a weekend very often, so I think people, people outside of football, won't probably won't realise just how much players buzz off having a weekend because it comes across comes so rare. So now they've earned it, they've earned it, and yeah, hopefully they're, I'm sure they'll be doing, I'm not sure many of the lads will be going to see Matilda, <laughs> but hopefully they'll enjoy their weekend as well.